So, uh, as Malika already talked about, we're a software uh, solution. So we also work with OpenStack and KVM, or other, or actually Docker hypervisors as well. So uh, the setup is that let me log in first. So, so we have uh, a four compute host OpenStack with KVM set up. On all the four host, um, a Spring uh, Spring Pass controller doc container were deployed on the four host, and a Spring Pass cluster uh, was created. The cluster creation and uh, the data store creation is exactly the same as you've seen with our vSphere uh, integration. Uh, the same bootstrap and the cluster creation and uh, data store creation. After, after the cluster is created, we create compute image and storage data stores. Those will be exposed through NFS to uh, OpenStack Nova, Cinder, and Glance as shared storage. So here, since our uh, since Nova and Glance and the Cinder are all running on our shared storage, the first thing I will do is create an instance. When you create an instance, uh, since uh, the uh, create a new instance, it's uh, because we also support <coughs> a Cinder plugin, so that uh, sort of opens uh, the VAI or array offload feature will be used uh, through Cinder plugin or OpenStack environment. When you create a new instance, uh, the image. We basically, only the first time when the uh, instance is created, the image will be streamed from Glance to uh, Cinder storage and create a Cinder volume. At the same time, a native snapshot will be taking up the image cache. After that, all subsequent uh, instance creation would be simply a native clone of that image cache. So for example, I will launch an instance I'll select the option to boot from image, image, create a new volume. This would create a new Cinder volume. Since, as I mentioned, this is simply taking a, a native clone of the image cache. So this volume will be provisioned on the Cinder storage, and the Cinder volume, will be, uh, the instance will be booted from the Cinder volume almost instantly a couple of seconds and the instance is already up and running. Yeah, and uh, the next one I will be taking a snapshot of the instance we just created. Again, taking a, because the volume is a Cinder volume which is running on our shared storage, and uh, taking a snapshot would invoke through Cinder plugin. So you will be using our uh, zero space um, pointer-based native snapshot. The snapshot is available instantly because of it's a native snapshot. So the snapshot is available through either uh, in immediately a glance uh, snapshot is available, glance image is available, or so the snapshot volume is available um, in the volume snapshots. This is of the uh, volume that uh, Ubuntu one has the volume attached. The snapshot is of that volume. The, uh, the snapshot is similar to vSphere's VM template. So the purpose is that the user could use the snapshot to create a lot of new instances. So once the snapshot is taken, you can either create a new instance through the Glance snapshot image or you could create a, a new instance through the snapshot volume. For example, I'll launch it as a new instance. <coughs> it's, a, it's a Cinder volume throughout Cinder plugin, so it's a native clone of the native snapshot. So again, it should be available in a couple of seconds. It's already up and running, as you can see in the console, it's booting up. And uh, because all the storage, Nova and Cinder and Glance are running on our shared storage, 
live migration is available. For example, mm. I have a Ubuntu Live So let me start on some activity on this. So it's running something. And uh, let's go back to the admin and instances. So it's running on host 3. That's your live migration. I'll move it to host 2. This should be complete in about 2 seconds. 2 Two. OK. Three. <laughs> three seconds. Uh, well, yeah, about, that was about Yes, three. longer by one second. So again, you go to the console. Um, it's still running perfectly. As I just demoed, it was, uh, it was my, the VM has been live migrated from three or t uh, host 3 to host 2. So that's basically our OpenStack KVM integration within the plugin. I also want to show you the Docker container, because our controller uh, Spring Pass Control deployed as Docker containers on the VMs, on, on, on the compute host. As you can see, on every host, there's one Docker container running. That is our Spring Pass controller. Come back here. Actually, one of the hosts, we have a provision to use Docker as hypervisor. So one, two, three, they're running KVM as hypervisor. Host four is using Docker as hypervisor. So we have images. One of the image is actually a Docker container. You can create a new instance through the UI, same as before. And if you go to the Docker availability zone, you could create a Docker container from the image. I actually want to do it with Nova uh, CI this time. So I have already provisioned a volume, a single volume for our, my Docker data. Of all the images, I also have a Docker image available. So that I'm going to run a Nova command line to boot a new image, create a Docker container with that Docker image. And I'm going to attach a, a Spring Pass cluster provisioned sender volume to that. So come, so here you can see there is a new Docker container that has been provisioned. You go back to instances, you can check. Here is a Docker container. And you can see the Docker volume has al already been attached. And uh, here, come back to the host. That's the uh, Docker instance running with our sender volume attached. So that pretty much concludes our uh, OpenStack KVM. Uh, OpenStack with KVN has hypervised and OpenStack with Docker has hypervised using our Spring Pass uh, cluster backend. And uh, this is the cluster I was telling you earlier. The same cluster, now we mount, the data source exposed by this, we mounted on four hosts, which are compute only nodes, running ESX, and we powered on VM on that. So essentially, we were able to show a single infrastructure hosting KVM VMs. Docker and ESX VMs.